do with dumplings. And after I'm done with that, I'm going to show you how to prepackage the same meal to put in your pantry. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is to stir in two-thirds cup of flour and one-quarter cup of powdered milk. I'm going to make sure you stir it really good and get the lumps out. There's no lumps. Okay, here I have four chicken breasts, four half chicken breasts. And it's already pre-cooked, and I'm going to put that in there. This is what I had left over from dinner last night. Now I'm going to add one half cup of mushrooms, dehydrated mushrooms, one half cup of peas, one half cup of dehydrated carrots, a quarter cup of scallions, a quarter cup of celery, a half cup of um, mixed peppers. Now you could just use just green peppers if you want, but I always like to mix my peppers up, so I have red, yellow, and green in here. Then in here I have some tarragon and some rosemary. Now the directions will be in the recipe section. Okay, here I have um, one half cup of potatoes. Okay, now I'm going to add two large bouillon cubes. And I'm going to drop them in. I'm not going to worry about stirring them up. Just drop them in like that and put the lid on. And I'm going to let that cook for about five and a half hours. Next, we're going to prepackage the exact same meal minus the chicken. So, you're going to put on your vinyl gloves. Um, like I said before, you want to make sure that the moisture doesn't get into your dehydrated foods. Okay. I have an oxygen pack in the bottom of this um, vacuum bag. And I'm going to pour in the ingredients that I just put in the pot over there. Dehydrated peas, dehydrated carrots, my dehydrated onions, my dehydrated um, celery, my dehydrated mixed peppers, green peppers, and my tarragon and my rosemary, and my dehydrated potatoes. Okay. So now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a little Ziploc baggie. And in that Ziploc baggie, um, I'm going to put in my powdered milk, my flour, and then I'm just going to toss the bouillon cubes in there already wrapped. I'm not going to unwrap them, I'm just going to drop them in like that. I'm not going to seal the Ziploc baggie. I'm just going to place the Ziploc, and if you notice I have an oxygen pack inside there with my flour and my powdered milk. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide this inside my bag like that. And like I said, do not zip the Ziploc bag. You leave it open. And I'm going to go back and pack that. Okay, the stew's been cooking for about five hours now, and we're going to be eating in about a half hour, so this is when you want to put the dumplings in, one half hour before you eat, okay? So we're going to mix the dumplings up. Real simple. Just use Bisquick. I take about two cups of Bisquick, about a cup of water, stir it up, simple as that. So it's about that consistency right there. Okay. Now we're going to drop it on the stew. Take about this much per dumpling and drop it right in the stew. About that much until all of this quick is gone. Okay. All you do is put the lid on it and a half an hour it will be done.
Okay, it's been about one half hour exactly since we put the Bisquick dumplings on top and then put the cover on top. And now here you have it. It's finished. Now what you want to do is always remember to salt and pepper after your food has been prepared with dehydrated food, especially the salt. This is the prepackaged meal that we did here. All the ingredients are in this pack right here and it's, it's um, vacuum packed. So all you have to do is open this up, add your water, add your chicken, and then later on add your um, dumplings. And there you have it. Okay, this is my husband Jim and he's going to try it. How is it? That's delicious. Oh, thank you. There you go. Very it's good. delicious. <laughs>